Hello and welcome to this simple video or video series about what we're going to be doing in these next few episodes. So this is the ultimate guide to building in Terraria. Actually everything you need to know about building in Terraria, starting at the very very basics and working our way up to some of the more complex things. We're going to start off today by looking through equipment, one of the easiest things but also one of the most important things to set you up through your journey of building. And what I like to use is some of these simple materials. First of all, a rod of discord is very, very helpful. It is obtained by killing chaos elementals in the hollow in hard mode. I like to use the vortex set. They just look nice, but you can use any other of the celestial sets. Perfect. Personally, I like the vortex because I mean, they look cool. Then some sort of weapon for clearing out enemies if there is any. Staff of regrowth, which is really helpful for if you've got some dirt, you can just regrowth that straight back. An ice rod for if you want to place something in the sky. And then actuators. With my builds, I like to do some actuation, which basically means you have some things and you put them, you like push them to the back. The next thing we have is the grand design, which is good for removing them. So you right click, click on the center bit, and then you can select actuators. Then I like to have my paint brushes and rollers and stuff like that, just in case I forget to enable my paint sprayer, which we'll get to in a second. Then moving on to accessories. My wings, I like to use the nebula mantle because, well, it allows you to hover in midair. But you can also just do the same by using a mount. And I like to personally use the witch's broom. This is probably my favorite mount, and it's really good for maneuvering around. Then what I like to use is also the soaring insignia because this allows you to hover constantly. This allows you to fly for infinite time without running out. Then the architect gizmo pack, which is very helpful. Say you have your paint in your inventory, you can turn this on, and as you start building, you'll automatically paint it for you. Then also. The treasure magnet. This is really useful for when you're breaking stuff and say something's quite far away, you can pick it up. Then the ancient chisel. Possibly one of the nicest things. If you're clearing up big areas, this increases break speed by 25%, which is really, really helpful. Now this is the palette that we're going to be using for the next few episodes. And you're probably thinking, what? This looks absolutely awful. Like, what are these colors? None of them match. And that's because this is where the paint comes in. We paint all these blocks, and they all become a very similar colour. Just different textures, which are really nice for adding a little bit of colour and difference into your builds. So sometimes you don't just want different colours in your builds. You want different textures, which make it look nicer. So as you can see here, we've got different textures of wood. This is like my go-to palette for whenever I'm building. And this is just mainly for like foundations and all of that stuff. But now I'm going to show to you why palettes are so important. If we come over to this build, which I did in my last video, you can see that we've got a lot of different types of wood in here. I actually haven't used any spooky wood in this build because I didn't think that it fit the theme. But I have used the different types of stones and also some of the different types of woods. And you can see how nice they blend together. You can see how we've got the walls onto the actual blocks and it just adds a little bit more atmosphere to your builds in my opinion. So that's why picking out your pilot before you actually start building is very important in my opinion. So now that we have our palettes set out, we can begin on the second part, which is the foundations, which I will be sewing in the next video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.